Guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here bringing you this video today from my home office here in Jerusalem in Israel. Um, firstly, first order of business. Last week I did pass the 1000 subscriber uh, milestone here on YouTube. I am excited, humbled and a bit surprised actually to have passed this threshold on YouTube. Very appropriately, my 1000 subscriber was someone I know because I woke up last Friday and I think I, the last time I checked my YouTube subscription count, it was like 990 and then it was stuck at 999 and I sent out a tweet and I said, someone please subscribe to my YouTube channel so I can go out today and drink some beer to celebrate. And uh, lo and behold, my uh, a friend of mine, Peter Duffy, tech enthusiast, subscribed to the channel and uh, now I am past that 1000 subscriber mark. Now, when I started this YouTube channel a couple of years ago, I initially was uh, posting these kind of reviews or videos about tech stuff I did on my computer. Like if there was something on my computer cool I figured out how to do or some bug that I resolved, I would post a video on YouTube so other people could see how to do that or perhaps even in a few years time, if I forgot how to do that, I could watch my own uh, video and be reminded. Now. Over the last couple of years, my YouTube channel's evolved, and as it's evolved, I've been getting really interested in videography and video, and this has actually sort of become quite a uh, enjoyable hobby of mine, making these videos. At the same time, I've been getting more subscribers, I've been getting comments, I've been getting emails from people who tell me they actually watch my videos, and I'm like, well, I probably need to figure out what I'm doing with this channel if people are taking the time to subscribe. Um, now, on the one hand, I feel conflicted about this because as a creator on YouTube, I feel like no one should feel under pressure to box their channel into a certain theme. I like the idea that people should freestyle their YouTube channels and just post what's interesting to them. At the same time, I totally understand that from the other uh, perspective, it's, in, it's, it's kind of annoying for subscribers because they subscribe to get videos about topic A and then they're getting topics B, C and D which they have zero interest in. So I thought a little bit about what I could do to try to um, have my channel a bit more consistent for folks who are sufficiently interested in what I'm doing and in my life to subscribe. And the strategy I've gone with is basically to split off a lot of very, very niche topics that I think are not of interest to the vast majority of people. Um, and what I've done is created a few new YouTube channels because I'm not, my goal with this YouTube adventure isn't so much to grow one channel really big, it's more to just put out interesting content, engage with people and see where the journey takes me. So I'm not, not annoyed at the fact that like, you know, these channels are starting from scratch. I think it's gonna be better for uh, this channel and for those who want to subscribe to me. So I'll give you guys, if you are here for the Canon XA40 Pro Camcorder videos, and that's something that people have let, let me know by comments and through emails that they're specifically watching those videos. So I've created a channel called All About Canon XA40. And if you're a Canon XA40 owner and you want the stuff I've been posting, which is mostly tutorials, how to's, demo reels, everything to do with that camera, subscribe to that YouTube channel. If you don't, if you're not interested in the camcorder, those videos will not be appearing on this YouTube channel uh, from here going forward. And I've done that for a few different channels. I've created a channel called Daniel's Tech World for all the tech stuff that just doesn't really fit into small boxes. I've created a channel for my Caden Live videos because that's very specific again. Um, I haven't done one for the MDisc because it's just too niche, but you never know, maybe in the future I'll, I'll do an MDisc channel. And there's a couple more, again, for topics that I just felt are probably not of interest for 99% of people. And if anyone does subscribe to this YouTube channel, they're gonna be like, what the hell is this guy doing with an M disc or uh, you know, or, or this random camcorder I don't own and I don't even care about camcorders. So um, I'm gonna pop links in the description to those different YouTube channels. If you have been interested in one of those topics, do feel free to subscribe. What's gonna be left on this YouTube channel is basically I think the core of the content that I really care about. Videos about Israel, videos about Jerusalem, 
uh, the stuff that I produce in my locality, I'm looking to get into producing sort of mini documentaries and then maybe one day full length documentaries, video blogs, all that stuff's going to be here and everything that has a specific container for it is going to go into a different channel so that people who are interested in that stuff uh, can go subscribe to those videos and not be uh, bombarded by irrelevant content. Um, so there you go. Thanks for subscribing to everyone who's helped me make it so far to the 1000 mark. It's been a fantastic learning experience and I think that's what I enjoy most about this video journey is that I did a lot of writing before and a few really cool things I love about video. It gets you out of the house. It's a lot of fun. You meet people through video and there's always so much more to learn. I'm just scratching the surface of uh, what I hope to learn about video. There's a ton more to learn and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it. It's a nice blend of creativity and tech geekery. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any thoughts about this, do feel free to drop me a comment and check out the other channel links starting from scratch. I will post in this video description. Have a great day.